Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paul, an international medical graduate. In today's video, I will share my MCCQ1 examination experience and all the resources that I used during my Q1 preparation. I hope you will enjoy and stay until the end of this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video and also share with your friends if you find it helpful. This will help to grow this channel and encourage me to make more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. While I was taking my preparation, I kept in my mind how MCC would evaluate me through qualifying part 1 examination. I knew they would assess my acute management, chronic management, health promotion and illness prevention, psychological aspect, lastly, communication and professional behavior. That's why I chose materials that would cover all those fields. Based on this, I have chosen books, question bank, ethical and legal aspects of medicine, population health, and lastly, practice test. For books, these are the recommended material for the qualifying part 1 examination. I mostly studied master the board's USMLE step 2 CK during the preparation and later on master the board step 3. I did not study Toronto notes that much, only studied family medicine section. However, Toronto notes is still considered as one of the best resources for the qualifying examination part 1. For question bank, I used UL Q bank for the USMLE step 2 CK as my sole question bank. I was preparing for the USMLE step 2 CK at the same time and I found it really helpful. One thing I want to mention here is that medical ethics is quite similar between US and Canada with a few exceptions such as medical assistance in dying that you need to be aware of. I have made a few videos on ethics. If you are interested, please click the link in the description below. For ethical and legal aspects of medicine, I took help from different websites. The first one is College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario Ethics. Secondly, Canadian Medical Protective Association official website also known as CMPA. And lastly, Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada official website. These are valuable resources for the ethics preparation and these are completely free. You will find all these links in the description below. For population health, I studied the Association of Faculties of Medicine of Canada's Primer on Population Health and a little from CP Shah Public Health and Preventive Medicine in Canada as I was running short of time. I am also letting you know that few of my friends got almost 30 to 40% of questions from Ethics and Preventive Medicine, although I did not get that high number. So there is no scope for us to take it lightly. As IMG, we give more importance on diagnosis and treatment. However, MCC gives more emphasis on preventive medicine. This is the area where we need to spend more time and energy during the preparation. Now about the practice test. You will find this practice test on MCC website. When I was at the end of my preparation, I bought two practice test forms one MCQ and one CDM just to evaluate myself. I scored quite similar to those tests and got a better idea about the real exam. I also took one NBME practice test as I was also preparing myself for the USMLE step to CK. For those who are not aware of NBME, it's a National Board of Medical Examiners self-assessment practice test particularly for the USMLE. I found MCC practice test more useful because of similar question pattern as in real exam. Before 10 days of my exam date, I bought full length preparatory examination form and I found it greatly helpful. I know these are costly forms, still I would highly suggest those practice tests if possible all of them. In short, that's all about my Q1 examination experience. If you have any questions or suggestions, comment down below. Again, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. This will help to grow this channel. And also, do not forget to like, share and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.